Yeah, I mean, we knew we wanted to get a good start tonight. Um, coming off what last weekend, we wanted uh, to come out and get a couple points today. And um, yeah, we were we were hard early, got a lot of shots, and uh, it's probably probably the easiest goal I've scored in a while. It was great play by Rocco behind the net, uh, pass to Els, uh, and then I just picked up the loose garbage there. That was good garbage, but uh, it's kind of like one of those things where you're when you're struggling offensively, I guess you got to get those dirty goals sometimes, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, you got to go to the front of the net. You got to take shots when you can, and I think that uh, we did we did a good job tonight of getting his, a lot of shots. I think we outshot him by at least ten. Um, so we're just getting to those areas and and uh, trying to bang a few home. What do you think of this pro game now? I know it's uh, you really haven't had much of a chance to to get to to adjust to it yet. Those three games and three nights in three different cities haven't hit you yet. But what are, what are your feelings about uh, the pro game? Oh, it's been fun. I, I'm learning a lot. Uh, we have a, a great group of uh, older guys that um, have taken some younger guys under their wings and shown us the ropes and um, even away from the rink, just getting everything set up. So it's been uh, it's been fun. I'm excited to be here and uh, it's we're going to we're, we're going to be ready to go tomorrow and get the, that first win. Clearly not the result you want tonight, but I mean, you do play with tomorrow. So do you feel somewhat of a advantage or somewhat of a, you know, urgency to get back out there, especially after the way this one ended? Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll be ready to go. Quick turnaround for both teams tomorrow. We're going to be on, on at 3 or 3.30. And, uh, yeah, we, we just need to continue to do what we did tonight. I thought we outplayed them for most of the game. Um, a few bad bounces, but uh, that's the way hockey goes sometimes. So we'll be back at it tomorrow. It seems like you're right there. I mean, through the first three games, it was like, you know, you're slightly climbing up a hill a little bit. So, I mean, it seems like you're almost there to fully, you know, grasp to get a win out there. Yeah, I mean, I, you don't want to start 0-3, but uh, then again, it's only the first three games of right. the year. It's uh, You're going to hit a, a cold streak sometime during the year, and we're hitting ours early, and uh, hopefully get it out of the way. We get this get this thing rolling in the right direction. But uh, like Coach said today, it, we're continuing to improve. I think today was the best we've played. Uh, in a lot of ways, we deserve the win in hockey game, but like I said, it's the way hockey goes. You say you don't want to start 0-3. No team wants to start 0-3, but you mentioned the cold streak. Do you feel like maybe it's better to start this way now rather than to hit a cold streak in the middle of the season? Uh, I mean, you, <laughs> like I said, you're going to go through it at some point, yeah. so uh, we're, we're working to get out of it, and we've, right. we've, do, we've taken a lot of good steps, so uh, I think we're going to be ready to go tomorrow and, and take another step forward. Right. We don't have too many college hockey teams down here in South Texas, but <laughs> You got a chance to play for one of the great programs in uh, Michigan. What was it like playing for the Wolverines for four years? Uh, it was amazing. I mean, I, I loved every minute there, and uh, I got to play for Ed Berenson. Uh, I, I'm from Chicago, but I grew up watching some Michigan hockey. They were one of the closer teams, and uh, it's a great university with great education, and I, I'm really proud to be a part of that, um, that alumni.